Hello everyone, and this is our density and pressure experiment. We will be demonstrating this today with the following group members, Camille, Lifautiv, Tim, and Matt of group number 5. Hope you enjoy. As Matt begins by showing in this video the supplies and materials, we'll be using these wooden stands, these supports, to hold the plastic balls that we'll be using for our experiment. One with, uh, such 2 liter ball is actually a manometer that we will be using to uh, test the pressure. Attached to a uh, plastic hose, the liquids that we'll be using today are water, olive oil, and corn oil. These are going to be used mainly for our density test. We will also be using water in the pressure uh, test, but the rest of the equipment that we'll be using is a funnel to pour the liquid in easier, duct tape to make sure that all of the items are securely attached, a ruler to measure the pressure, uh, the actual distance during the pressure test. We'll also be using safety goggles and gloves to make sure that the safety requirements are met, as we do not want any spills to occur. The main part of the density experiment that we're about to do, demonstrated by Tim and Matt, is that we have corn oil and water that we'll be pouring in, one of each liquid on, on the other side. So we have exactly 350 milliliters of each liquid. And what we are trying to see is that one of the liquids should be denser than the other. Is it the corn oil or the water? We don't really know, or do we? So what we want to do is pour each one of them at a constant rate, uh, at the same time, and normally what would happen is that if both liquids were just as dense as the other, they would meet exactly in the middle. But because one is denser than the other, we should see one of them being one of them pushing the other. So as the experiment begins, you tend to notice that the water is actually pushing on the corn oil side, which means that the water is actually denser than the corn oil. Normally it should be met at the middle point, but as you can see there is actually roughly about two to three inches of extra space being pushed by the water. And as a result you can see that there's less water in the bottle than there is corn oil in the respective other bottle. We do the experiment one more time just to demonstrate with olive oil. Uh, most people would expect that olive oil would actually be denser than water. But once we start pouring in the olive oil and the water at the same time, the same amount, three, 350 milliliters again, and at the same rate, you will notice that again, the olive oil is actually going to be less dense than the water. The water is still more dense, and as a result is pushing up on the olive oil. This time there's actually uh, much more olive oil in the bottle compared to the water. And the difference is also noticeable in the tube. There's actually three to four inches difference than there should be uh, if it was at the middle. Now we are going to begin the final part of our experiment. This is just demonstrating with uh, the simple idea of pressure. While pouring water into the system, we're actually creating a pressurized vessel, uh, the manometer. And what this experiment is going to do is that we're going to have the water up to uh, up to a certain point in the bottle and just by blowing into the bottle from one side you can see that the force of the air pressurizing the vessel will actually push the water and on the other side of the uh, plastic tube you'll see the water rising depending on how much pressure is provided into the bottle so Tim will demonstrate by blowing into the bottle and as you can see, depending on how much uh, force he puts into it, the ball will rise. By blowing slowly into the manometer, you can see a constant change of about 3 to 5 inches going up and down. And this can be actually, we can actually calculate the amount of pressure that we are providing into the vessel, depending on the height and also the density. Finally, with our test results, we conclude that from the density test, from the three liquids that we used, water, corn oil, and olive oil, with these three fluids, from least to most dense, the olive oil was the least dense, corn oil was second, and water was actually the most dense. From the pressure test, by doing a simple calculation of P equals density times GH, we found out that 
1,000 times 9.81 times 0 0.083 equals 294.3 pascals, the amount of pressure that we provided in the pressure test. Thank you guys for watching this short and quick experiment, and have a nice day.